Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Ethel Mod Pack. My name is Classic Tim, and last episode we had some pretty good response on our 60 dish diner here, and it's still working great, although I haven't actually taken too much off of it. But yeah, so that's pretty much our our food system. So now that that is actually set up, we can start making this area look a little bit nicer. Do some beautification here. Um, I've kind of just got my buildings scattered around here, and I'm actually getting some frame rate loss from all the stuff going on here. So anything else we do, we're probably going to move it a little bit further away. I want to get into Thalmcraft, which, which is what I think we're going to do next. I've got a couple things in there I want to do, and I haven't I haven't used Thalmcraft in a long time. So either way, I've got my uh, watering can back over here, so we're making more power. But as you can see, we've got plenty of charcoal now. We've got this thing half filled, so it's about 60,000 charcoal. So this thing doesn't even need to be running for much longer. Um, but it can hold also 160,000 logs, so that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so I think that maybe we'll work over here a little bit. And though this thing does look pretty cool at the moment, it is kind of out of place. And I kind of want to connect all this stuff, maybe put some other buildings in here. I want to move this. Um, this doesn't really make any sense about where we're putting this, where we're making this power right now. And it's just a big hole in the ground. So we're going to make this a little, look a little bit nicer. We're going to connect everything with roads and, and all this other stuff. We're not, we're not going to do all this this episode. So right now we're just going to focus on this. Um, well, actually, what we should do first is, you know what? I'm pretty sure some of these build craft machines will be destroyed if you don't use a wrench on them. Okay, not a wrench. Um, something with build craft. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get rid of all this junk because we're not going to be using any of this for a while. I'm not using a jetpack anymore, so I don't need any to generate steam right now. Um, even though, oh, I mean hydrogen, not steam. We've still got plenty left. Whoops, I thought I crashed there. Looks like it was just a lag spike. That's good. And looks like we got some charcoal from something, so we'll put that in there. Clean up this a little bit. Don't need those slime balls on there. They never actually did anything. Won't be needing these bushes anymore. Since I don't actually use those for anything. And we'll leave the pumpkins there. But yeah, let me get this a wrench. Because I'm pretty sure if you break some of these build craft machines, they'll actually just go back to machine frames. Which I wouldn't want to do, because I'm sure I'll use those things in the future. And I think I have made a build craft wrench already. Yep, there we go. Let's deposit all this junk. Most of this stuff I only used once, and I probably am not going to use it again for a while. So we can just get rid of it. So basically, I'm going to turn this into a Tinker's Construct building. So we'll be using it um, for all of our Tinker's Construct stuff. And I'm about ready to... Does this, does this not do anything? Oh man, these are industrial craft machines. What do I have to do with industrial craft? Industrial craft. Any kind of wrench? Power unit? Small power unit? Nope, those. Um, there is a wrench, but I... Let's see... Yeah, that turns them all into basic machine casings. Great. Um, you know what? I'm lazy. I'm just going to break them. Yep, we'll make all these machines again. I don't care. I probably won't be using them again for a long time anyway because industrial craft is kind of annoying. This is one thing that these early mods, uh, like industrial craft and build craft did. Um, these, like if you destroy machines without using a wrench, they turn a basic machine um, craft, uh, casings. And some of them are really hard to make. And I remember the first time I played any kind of mod pack, it was just you know the, the first ever Technic pack, and I broke down one of my solar panels, which took me like an hour to make, and it turned into a machine casing. And that was when I quit uh, playing modded Minecraft for a while. A little bit too annoying for me. But yeah, we don't need any of those machines for a while. Looks like we've got a bunch of junk in here. Um, I'm not sure why I have this chest even. Um, I'll go deposit all that stuff later. But what I really need is my Tinker's Construct stuff here. So we'll grab all these. There we go. Wasn't that a pattern chest? Shouldn't that have had patterns in it? Oh, cool, it saves the patterns when you move them. That makes this thing a whole lot easier. Okay, did I drop anything? No. 
Okay, so we're gonna be leveling this out a little bit and this is gonna be the centerpiece and then we're gonna have two forges, one on this side and one on this side and that way we can um, actually do our Tinker's Construct here. And like I said, I'm about ready to do some upgrading. I wanna make the armor. I really like the EXO armor from Tinker's Construct quite a bit and um, some new tools as well. I wanna get some silk touch on my pickaxe and I really don't need uh, a shovel since this does all that, but maybe I'll make one and put some silk touch on it just in case I need grass for something. And I'm gonna make a new sword. This manual and broadsword's about out of durability here. I never put any moss or anything on it just because I wanted to put all the quartz on it to give it a lot of damage. But yeah, we'll make something a little bit nicer. And yeah, but first, gonna make a building um, so it's not just out in the open here. So I'm gonna clear out this area a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. So here is what I have so far. Um, I went for kind of a factory-like look, so I used these factory blocks, which I like because they're super easy to make. Let's just look at them really quick. Um, where's the actual blocks? Yeah, these, they're, they're really easy to make. It's just four stone and four iron, and you get 32 of them. So they're really easy to make, and you can craft them in the chisel mod really easily. Um, let me get out my chisel really quick and I'll show you. So you, you make these factory blocks and then they've got a ton of different styles of factory block that you can use. So they're really nice to build with because you can kind of just use one block and build the whole area here. So here's what I got. It's kind of plain inside right now just because I've only focused on the front here uh, with these forges. So yeah, we've got the big emerald farm in the center, and we're currently sitting at 101 emeralds. I think that's the maximum that we can have, because it's been sitting at 101 for a while. Let's see, wait, before he jumps in, what were we at? 0.21094. Yeah, see, so that's definitely um, the maximum right there, because it wouldn't be that point number um, unless, unless we hit the maximum. So that probably won't go up when that villager dies. So we should probably actually take out uh, a block there, so we can start getting some more. Uh, but either way, so these are our, our smelteries. I like to have two smelteries whenever I do stuff because, like, sometimes if I have um, cobalt in this one and I want to smelt down some ardite, I can put it in here without having to worry about making manulin or something like that. Um, but, yeah, either way, let's make some new tools here really quick. And I noticed that with the update to Tinker's Construct, we cannot make the exo armor anymore it's not it's not in there let's let me, let me double check actually yeah see there's no exo armor um but tinker's construct has some new armor let's see if i can find it here it's hard when you don't know the exact name of something and you only know the mod because a lot of these these mods have tons of items armor 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 well i'll look at that in a sec let's start making our new pickaxe here and there we go and I think I'm actually short one piece of ardite right I mean yeah because I need some more manual than that to make our new sword as well um, let's see I need a manual tool rod for my pickaxe nope that was cobalt oh well also I need a tool binding a paper one for my pickaxe Let's put, throw that back in there and make a manual in one. There we go. So this is pretty much how I make my pickaxe. Actually, no, wait, just kidding. I don't need that. I'm actually going to make a paper one because I forgot I was going to put flux on this pickaxe. So I don't need to worry about um, modifiers like that or the, uh, the extra durability since I'm just going to be making uh, it out of uh, charge it instead of using the durability on it. So I'll put that there, that there, and that there, right? No? What did I do wrong? What? Is this for a pickaxe, right? Paper binding? Oh, this is a tough rod. I need just a tool rod. Not a waste of paper, because I can't smelt that one down. Okay, I was confused there for a second. They look really close. There we go, so there's our pickaxe. And then I'm going to be making a broadsword. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna do the rest of this off camera. It's pretty hard to talk and do Tinker's Construct at the same time. So let's put this in here. And before we do that, let's look at the, the actual armor. Let's see if I can find it somewhere in here. Some of you's probably already seen it. Come on, where is it? Ah, here it is. It's kind of hard to spot. So we've got the wooden armor, but we had that before. So now we've got the Traveler's Goggle. Um, it gives the ability to zoom in with G and to swap the hotbar with G. Um, so that's cool. It actually gives you multiple hotbars. I've heard that that can possibly glitch out your game um, and delete one of the hotbars, but... You know, I've also heard that this Traveler's Backpack can delete items too, and that hasn't happened to me yet, so I'll give it a shot. The Traveler's, Traveler's Vest, ability to swift swim, um, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, the Traveler's Wings, ability to high jump. These are the legs, I think. That's the vest, yeah, these are the legs. I don't think I'm going to use these because we can fly. Um, high jump might actually get annoying. Um, so maybe we'll get some higher protection legs from another mod or something. And then the Traveler's Boots, ability to high step. So that's actually the same thing that this thing does, except it doesn't take power, so we'll probably swap these out. Um, but the the uh, Boots of the Traveler from Thomcraft is what we're going to be going for, so this is just going to be kind of temporary thing. But either way, these things are really easy to make, just some leather, glass, gold. Yeah, so we can actually make these right now. Um, actually, I've got some extra leather over here from our cow farm. So I better run over here to make sure that we've got uh, everything we need. See, we've got plenty of leather over here. Also, I don't think I showed this in the in the episode where I talked about the, the diner, but I have a way to make infinite salt down here. Um, and it actually works with this mod, um, so you don't have to mine it or anything. Let's just run down here. Um, uh, this is where I get milk as well. But yeah, so down here, let's get down here. This um, drying bed from, what mod is this from? Rotary Craft. You just pump water into it and it creates salt. So I've got it pumping down from an aqueous accumulator here and then it gets sucked up into this uh, storage unit. So I've already got like 12,000 in there, so salt isn't an issue. And then this is where I get milk. Also, I didn't talk about this, but I accidentally made a bucket generator. Um, for some reason, when you pump in buckets to the autonomous activator, it tries to drink the buckets. And then when my system sucks it out, sometimes it duplicates the bucket. So I put in, like, um, two buckets in here um, as, to start out with, and now I'm at, like, 438. So I could actually possibly melt these things down and get, like, a, like an unlimited arm, uh, iron farm, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'll just, I'll just leave him in there for now and see how many buckets we can build up over time. Um, he hasn't moved in a while. He's supposed to, to wander, but he hasn't actually moved from that spot. Maybe he's stuck on something. Okay, so now that we've got the leather, let's run back and make these tools. I actually probably don't even need this much leather, but I'll probably need it eventually. Okay. And there we go. So, while we're here, we can actually also make... Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to hold off on that. So let's just make the armor. So we got the Traveler's Goggles. Easy enough. Ability to zoom and the swap a hot bar. So let's put that on right here, just normal. All right, I like those. I mean, it's kind of funny that I'm wearing two sets of glasses, but whatever. All right, so let's hit G. No, it's not working. Um, I'm. That's that's weird. Wait, was that bubble? I had a bubble on me. And it's changing the su it's changing the sun. Uh, maybe I have like a control uh, conflict in there. Ability to swap hot bar with G. Okay, well, I'll worry about that in a second. All right, let's make the vest. There we go. And ability to swim fast. So that's cool. I hate swimming. Oh, yeah, that's another a nice looking uh, set of armor there. I think it's almost nighttime here. And um, I'm skip the, the wings because I don't need them because I can actually fly. I have actual wings on. And the traveler's boots. This will replace these boots because I, I don't think these actually give any armor bonus. 
and these do. Yep, by quite a bit. Um, these will protect from fall damage, though, but so does this angel ring, so that's not necessary. So we can just drop those off. Alright, so we look pretty cool. I actually like the style of that. I think I like the style of the old Exo armor a little bit better. Where's my sound? Oh, I just turned the weather off. Okay, I was going to say. Let's sleep. Get that out of there. Alright, so yeah, I definitely like this armor. Um, I believe you can add modifiers to this, like moss, to uh, turn it uh, into a... Uh, auto repair so that way it doesn't have any durability which is nice. Uh, there's a couple more things here. We've got the traveler's gloves and these are supposed to make you mine faster. There we go and the traveler's belt. Ability to swap the hotbar with B. Oh. Well then what does the helmet do? There we go. Swap heart bar with G. Huh. Oh, I didn't try to zoom. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, yet you, you, don't, you don't hold it down. You have to click it. Okay, I'm not sure how useful that is, but, you know, we can do it. And well, that's just like the Optifine thing, isn't it? So if you had Optifine, this thing doesn't really do that much. Okay, and... Yeah, so let's put these on. Where do you put them? One here. Oh, that's cool. It actually puts a little belt on. And some gloves. Okay, that's cool. It doesn't show up on the, the hand, though. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I actually, I like the look of this Exo armor a lot. Um, I like the I like this armor because it uh, it doesn't cover up your skin too much, so people can still see your skin. That's what I hate about a lot of armors, is everyone looks the same after a while. So yeah, I like this I like this quite a bit. Um, yeah, and then, so let's, let's see. Now can we do B? Okay, I'm going to have to change that. B's opening up a window, but it is swapping my hotbars too, so see, look, now I've got nothing in my hotbar, and if I hit B again, then they're back. Alright, so that's cool, so I can, actually, I can actually put some of these tools that I use uh, really often in my second hotbar instead of in here, and that'll free up a lot of space right here as well. So that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, I can, like, I can put the hammer in there and, you know, stuff like that. I wonder if you can possibly get, like, three hotbars or something. Uh, what is this slot for? Is there anything I can put in this slot? Because this is a Tinker's Construct window here. So, I would assume there's some kind of... looks like a mask, maybe? Or maybe a necklace? I don't know, it's hard to tell that I could put something right there. I don't see anything in this... Um, yeah, can I put this here? No. This? Nope. Oh, well, maybe that's something for a uh, future project. Because remember, they had these slots here um, in the other update, but they, they didn't have the belt or the gloves, so it's probably something coming soon. I don't think you can get green heart canisters either, so... Yeah, and then I don't know what other kind of legs we can make. Um, let's just let's look up... Uh, legs. Yeah, um... Crimson Cult Leggings. We get a Vist discount. That's from Thaumcraft. Ironwood. Protection one on that. Full emerald leggings. Huh. And... Yeah, and there's, there's plenty of stuff we could make. Hardened leather leggings. Yeti leggings. Bedrock leggings. Ah, that's a lot of durability. Fire protection. Why is it fire protection? I figured with bedrock it would be a little bit more, uh... Just normal protection. Yeah, so, I mean, I think we'll just go legless at the moment. Or pantless. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go actually, I'm just gonna go finish up these tools, um, so I don't have to do it on camera, and I'll be back in just a second. So guys, if you were wondering why I was in Peaceful last episode by accident, this is why. Whenever I go to my test world, I just get bombarded with slime, so I have to go to Peaceful. Come on, Peaceful. Just so they go away, so I can actually do some tests here. I was just, uh, doing some tests on the, uh, pickaxe I want to make. Because I know with the um, hammer I made, you could put different levels of flux capacitors on them, and I ended up making a bunch of ones that I didn't need. So I'm just testing it out right here. Anyway, I'll be back in just a sec. just want to show you guys all the slimes. Okay, so let's finish off these tools. I am making a cleaver, uh, which is an awesome weapon. It's slow, but it does a ton of damage. So right off the bat, we've got 14 attack damage. That's like twice as much as a diamond sword. 
So we'll make that it's expensive. Um, each one of these takes eight manulins, 16 manulin total. And then I ended up not having to waste that paper uh, tough rod because I used it on this. All right, so there's our new sword. And I figured out the uh, flux capacitor stuff. So it actually looks at the durability of your tool. So since I used a paper tool rod, it doesn't have a lot of durability, so I can actually only use a leadstone flux capacitor on this, which is okay because I use this for most of my mining anyway when this holds 400,000. So I don't really mind um, putting a leadstone flux capacitor on that because they're actually pretty quick to charge anyway because I have a uh, resonant flux capacitor in here, here that I just use to charge everything. Okay. So let's put this in here and we'll add um, our flux capacitor to the manual and cleaver. And the same thing with this one, it's got a paper rod, so I'll just use that. And I'll put this on this and there's our new tools. And of course we're going to want to add redstone of course to them. Uh, with this manual and cleaver, I'm just going to completely... Uh, use everything on quartz after the charge up um, and if you want to know the pattern if you want to just use up all 72 you put two layers of quartz blocks and then two extra and then that uh, evens out to exactly 72 so that way you can just do it right like this and not have to you know com repeatedly take it out put it in take it out put it in it's much faster to add all these quartz this way all right, what are we at now? We're at 26 attack damage, and we've still got a modifier remaining, and that doesn't even include our extra modifiers that we get from the block of gold and the diamond and um, the nether star, stuff like that. So yeah, we're sitting at 30 attack damage right now. Um, I'll leave it at that for right now. That's definitely good enough. And the same thing with the quartz. And here is the pattern for the uh, redstone. It is five blocks in the bottom, then five redstone. And the same thing with this pickaxe, we just want it to be as fast as possible. But we are going to want to put Silk Touch on it. So let's leave one modifier for that. I forgot to bring a Silky Jewel. So we'll just uh, put uh, the three modifiers on that. And again, we can just um, add the extra modifiers later as well. So those are our tools for that. Um, and then also I want to put Moss on our junk here. So this stuff doesn't actually take durability, so we don't need to worry about putting it on that. But we're going to want to put it on, on all of these. And I brought three moss. By the way, if you don't know, uh, you can use the chisel mod. And look, I did it again. Got to put myself back on uh, normal. There we go. And now I should sleep. Yeah, I do that sometimes, but it's not a big deal. This is before the update where you can set uh, the difficulty as world specific. So that's too bad. Um, but yeah, so if you put it in here, then you can get some mossy stone um, out of the chisel. And then you can just turn that all into moss. So moss is quite easy to get. Alright, and let's just put moss on all of our stuff here. So this just gives it auto repair. I'm not sure if you can put um, other modifiers on these. I'll have to look that up. Because I'd like to, you know, put maybe some extra protection on them if I can. Because they're close to being diamond armor. I don't have the pants on, but I don't think that that will actually get all the way up with the pants. Um, hard to tell with because these protections, they're not um, normal uh, numbers. So, but yeah, we've got auto, auto repair on them, so they won't break. And then you can actually put uh, haste on these. So let's see. Um, I'm not exactly sure how these work. Is it making me dig faster right now? Um, it's hard to tell since I dig so fast anyway. But let's just, yeah, let's put some haste on them. Same way with the pickaxe. Uh, this one actually does 100, so we can do two layers of blocks. And then two layers of redstone. And how many modifiers does it have? Four! Okay, I'll, I'm just going to skip through that um, and put them all on. Okay, welcome back. So I've added the haste to the gloves, and it actually increases your um, barehanded speed, too. So hard to tell, but that's actually quite a bit faster. Um, but yeah, this episode's actually running a little bit long, so I think I'm going to end it here. And next episode, we're going to go more into modifiers for the rest of the armor, and maybe do some other stuff as well. Depends on how long that takes. But either way, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. 
Um, leave a like if you did enjoy, and I will see you guys 